Good morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to another great episode of HKTV, Shafter High School's news source. I'm Esmeralda Mora. And I'm Alexis Lopez. And today is Monday, May 15th. Now let's see what's going on in our general community. Mama Mia had their last show on Saturday, and let me just tell you guys, these actors did an amazing job. The show was so good, and I hope you guys went to go watch it because it was amazing. Students, as always, there is tutoring, and it is available Monday through Thursday in the library. Morning sessions are from 7.30 to 8.20, and afternoon sessions are from 3.30 to 6.30. Now, send it over to Frankie with the weather. Hey, y'all. If you didn't watch the greatest performance, you know, the greatest theater performance, like, from Chapter High, Mamma Mia, and then it's your fault, because, like, that show was too good. The lighting, the vocals, the details, and other greatest things happen in that, you know, theater. Um, I'm gonna wait. Okay, Sing 2 was my favorite musical, but like ever since I watched the live performance of Mamma Mia, it's my new favorite, you know what I'm saying? But uh, today is going to be a high 96 and a low 59. Tomorrow is going to be a high 96 and a low 62. On Wednesday it's going to be a high of 98 and a low of 62. And on Thursday it's going to be a high 96 and a low of 61. It's going to be hot every day after school, so there's no point of saying like what type of temperature is going to be after school. So like, what's the point of saying like it's going to be cold when it's not? So bottle up some that rainwater and put on that SPF. So now listen back to the main show. Seniors, the award ceremony is scheduled for Thursday, May 18th at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. It would be great if you go out and support your friends. Senior signing is on May 18th as well in the old gym at 2 p.m. Seniors, grad night is on May 25th. The bus departs at 6.30 p.m. and you'll be arriving back Friday, May 26th at 6.30 a.m. Whoo, man, that's like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now let's send it over back to Frankie with sports. Oh my god, this is like like child labor, but anyways, uh, <laughs> no introduction needed, but anyways, uh, all, the, all the news for sports is just going to be track and baseball. The final meet for track was on last Friday, which was the Division Two at San Luis Obispo. Congrats to my fellow athletic scholars who try their very best, their absolute best, you know what I'm saying? Like, as you can see, they're trying their best in this video, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 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 look, they're running, but, um... <laughs> Only one person who qualified to move on to Masters, which will be held at Buchanan High School, which is Jocelyn Perucci. Period. That's our girl boss. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Okay. She placed second in Division Two and placed ninth seed to compete for the Valley Championships. Congrats to her. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, softball. You know, our Lady Generals softball team is in the Division Three softball playoffs as the seventh seed. They will be hosting the, um, you know, their game tomorrow at 4.30 with Sierra Pacific with the 10th seed tomorrow. You know, opening pitch is going to be 4.30 p.m. Support them. Baseball, our... Our Generals baseball team qualified for Division 6 playoffs as the number one seed and they will take on Mammoth's uh, number 16 seed on Wednesday. Game time will be announced tomorrow. Come and support our softball and baseball teams and Jocelyn Perucci at their meet and game in person or distant if you guys don't want to be in person. But you guys want to play a sport in the future? Well, it's required to do a physical. But on June 1st at 1.30, um, in the afternoon, in the old gym, is going to be a free physical, meaning you don't have to bring any important documents like your insurance card, that EBT card. But um, it's just a simply walk in. Just come in, it's free, and you don't have to worry about doing a physical last minute. And the best part is that they turn in the physical for you at the athletics office. And although one thing I have to say is that you cannot bring no incoming eighth graders because they're not going to let them in. But also, um, sports have opened my eyes when I did that, you know, the free physical. So, you know, that's it for this sports, you know, segment. Now let's send back to the main show. Thank you for sports. Um, this, is op this is open to TRIO students only. If you're interested in attending and are not part of TRIO, please come and apply in the Career Center. STEM two-day summer program, July 19th and July 20th open to all incoming 9th to 12th grade students. 
Um, Rising Seniors Workshop uh, is August 3rd. And it is open to all incoming 12th grade students. Yeah. May 19th is a senior send-off rally. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to miss Frankie. On that note, generals, have a super general day and tune in tomorrow for another great episode of HQTV, Shafter High School's News Source.